Hey everybody, welcome back to Hermitcraft. Is it? Hermit Skies, that's the one. Hermit Jeez. Skies, yes. Why am I mixing those two up? <laughs> Hermit Skies, mm -hmm. Project Ozone Light with uh, the Scott and me. Hello. Whee! And yes, we can fly. <laughs> and take no fall damage. Yeah, that's perfect. So, we did a little stream after last episode. Uh, we managed to get the angel ring done. That was quite a challenge. Um, getting all the golden lassos and the cursed lassos and all the stuff we needed. Setting up the, the uh, grid power generation. And we extended on that after the stream a little bit. So we now have it over here. During the stream we just had it over there on our little experimentation platform. Uh, we should have enough grid power for now. 192 per person. And we figured out why we fell from the sky all the time, because the grid power generation wasn't junk loaded. That was stupid. <laughs> mm, but yeah. Whose fault was that? Mm. Um, probably mortuaries. Okay. I mean, that <laughs> just makes sense. You know, it's about jumping and falling. Yeah, yeah, yeah mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. true. Yeah, see? <laughs> uh, what else did we do? Uh, we started gathering stuff for ender chests and, and things like that. And we do have some of that. Let's go over to storage. You might have noticed that the cow spawning platform is gone. They are now all over here. We have quite a number of them. I'm not gonna go through all of them. Just, you know, have a look. <laughs> Feast your eyes on this. And, and then we get back to the other big platform over there that you might have seen a little bit of. Alright. Uh, we do have some ender chests. Which we are already using for, for stuff. We had a number more, which I already used. I'm going to show you that in a second. And uh, we also have storage now for the cyanide blocks, which come as waste product from our reactor, which is automatically transferred over here via ender chest. The yellorium, on the other hand, which needs to go into the reactor, is... See, that's what we did, did, did this for. Uh, come over here. Right there. Uh, we have an Ender I.O. item conduit attached to a chest, and that has a counting item filter. And that counting item filter says, put 64 Yellorium in here. And that's what it does. And uh, on the other side where the reactor is, there is uh, the opposite chest to this. And that just takes out whenever it needs, and it gets refilled. And we do have quite a number, 3814 Yellorium. Just from our Yellorium cow. Yeah, that's quite nice. Guess what just spawned? What did spawn? A meat cow. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna come back to that Maybe. platform in a little bit. So the smelteries are all up and running. We did build the first one here and we extended it a little bit. It's now two blocks deep instead of just being one single long shaft thing. And I'm gonna get to all the attachment to that in a little bit. All the cows are here that actually produce some sort of metal or other stuff that goes into a smeltery, like there's hardened clay in there. And what else do we have? Uh, glowstone, refined obsidian, or whatnot. Yeah, it's looking good. We still have four empty smelteries over there. Um, most of these don't have co uh, corresponding ore, so for example this one is a tin. Obviously we do have tin, which is already set up here. Uh, molten maniolin? There is no mandolin or not that I'm aware of. Um, at least not in, in forms that you get from a sieve. So, the, yeah, that smelter isn't doing anything. <laughs> Half of these are not doing anything currently. <clears throat> but we did set up some automation over here. So I want to show you how that works. Let's go down here. Let's grab some stuff. Uh, let's put that away for now. This is what we need. Yeah, come on. Get upstairs. There you go. So I've started a little bit. We do have an ender chest over here, which is color-coded black, white, white. That's where all our incoming ores go to. And that takes out, which you can see there, on the blue channel. Right there, extract on blue. It's always active. Already has a filter in there. It already takes out yellorium ore pieces, iron ore pieces, and iron horse arm ore, which we want to smelt up as well. And then you might notice we have the Eulorium cow here and the iron cow is here as well. So that makes sense, right? Everything that gets taken out on blue, well, fly, gets put in on blue into this chest. That's our buffer chest. It's just a framed acacia chest. It's part of the mod pack. It's actually pretty easy to do. 
chesticle. Right up here. Uh, it's, it's wood planks and a label, and the label is just slabs. So that that's what? That's two blocks, right? Yeah. So it's uh, ten blocks for one chest. A little bit more expensive than a regular chest, but you know, we have them. Why not use them? Inventory is the same, so it doesn't really matter. And currently there's nothing... You hear that, right? We have a couple more ender chests here, all with the same color code. <laughs> currently there's nothing in there, so don't need to worry about it. Um, let's see. So that is already uh, doing its thing. Whenever there is stuff in there that needs to go in these two smelteries, it's gonna get taken out on the blue channel and put in the buffer chest, so that we always keep the ender chest as empty as possible, even if we have a backlog of items to put in here, because, you know, there's there's just eight slots for stuff to smelt. If we get, like, um, nine horse armor, or we get just nine ore chunks, then that they need to smelt up, and for that little amount of time, there is no room here to put anything, so that might back up our ender chest and prevent us from getting all the stuff we need. Other smelteries might run dry because the, the chest fills up with iron or whatever. So that's what the buffer chest is for. We can obviously just extend this by using, let's say, a diamond chest or a crystal chest with a huge inventory. If we need to, we do that. So that saves us some time as well there. And we don't need to figure out fancy stuff with ender chests, we just we have a buffer chest, everything's fine. Then, uh, let's see, we don't need don't need the compacting drawers, I already put some here. So we have two empty compacting drawers, which we are going to lock preemptively. You lock, you lock, and we're also going to switch on, show me how many items are in there. That should have worked, there's nothing in there, so it's not showing anything, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, that goes here, that goes there. I still need that TNT, I'm going to show you in a second. Uh, I think for this one I actually don't. We'll see. We'll see. So, what do we get here? We get iron horse armor, we get iron ore pieces, and we get yellorium ore pieces. Now we want to put them somewhere, right? So the iron horse armor needs to go into the smeltery directly. We can't put that in compacting drawers. So let's click on this one and tell it uh, it's on insert green because out of the buffer chest we extract on green. So you will need to have an item filter. Just scroll with that in there. And that's going to be the horse armor. Right? So that will go in there. On the other side, where the Eulorium cows, we don't want anything to go in there. Because we currently don't have anything that could go in there. So I'm going to put an item filter, and we just put the TNT in here. Because there will never ever be TNT in this ender chest, or in that buffer chest. So nothing will go in here. If we just leave that item filter empty, even though it's on whitelist, and only items in this list should go in there, uh, it just disregards the filter as if it wasn't there, so we need to have something in there. And TNT is a good choice. Good, so that makes sure that the armor is taken care of. Now we need to put the ore pieces somewhere. And the way I've done this over here, it's already set up. We're gonna go from up there. And we're gonna come over here and over here. So we're still extracting on green, so this needs to insert on green, right? Uh, ins no, we need to this on. Do we need this on in out? We probably need this on in out, right? It's been a while since I've done that. Yeah, we need this on in out. Okay, in out. Uh, insert on green, and we're gonna up the priority here. It's technically not necessary. In, in, I did intend to not use filters if I could avoid it, and if you just up the priority, whatever comes out of that chest will be put in these compacting drawers first. And since we make sure that these are locked, give me that back, I still need that. And you go in there, and give me one back, thank you very much. They are locked, so only Elorium can go in here, and only Iron can go in there. So that's where it would get put first, before it's get uh, put into the smeltery controllers. And since these ore pieces can't be smelted up before you compress them into chunks, they would just take up space and never do anything in the smelteries. Which would, you know, bring this whole thing to a halt. So, that's the way I wanted to do it. One more in out, and then just, eh, priority 10. Technically, priority 1 would be enough, or 2. The rest is on, what, 1 or 0? Zero? 0. So, priority 1 would have been enough, but, you know, just better be safe than sorry. 
So, now everything gets taken out of the chest, Iron Horse armor goes in the smeltery, and the pieces go into these compacting drawers. Now we want the chunks to come out there. And for that, I'm gonna use Extract on, let's say, brown. Because if we do this on green, it might get put somewhere else where we don't want it. And uh, this one, we say Extract on red. And then on this side, we say Insert on red. There. And over here we say insert on brown. So Yellorium comes out here on the brown channel. It can only go in there. It's the only brown insert we have on the whole system here. On, the, on this part of the system. And over here the iron ore, it's red, goes into red. So that should be working. Now we need to make sure we don't take the, the pieces out here and only the chunks. For that, of course, again, we need the filters. So this is iron, and now I'm just going to put this on blacklist. And that will make sure that iron ore pieces can't be taken out. And same over here. Uh, on extract, we will need yellorium and blacklist. So that only leaves one item that could be taken out there, which is, there with, which is the chunk. Jeez. And that should work. So we switch to you. Always active. Remember, whenever you do an extract somewhere, you need to switch it to always active or some sort of active because by default it's on never active and that would prevent you from doing anything. That's only insert, that's only insert, that's only insert. Where do we have extract? Extract is on. Bloop, right here. Yeah, again. It's a little framey over here. That's already always active. And that leaves. That one, and you're also always active. Nice. So that should be good to go. As soon as we pump some iron ore pieces into that chest, they should fill up this drawer. Whenever there's four of them, they will make one chunk. That one chunk gets taken out, gets put in here. You come back to me. Those are put in there before we put the filter in. See? What? <laughs> Did I put that on whitelist? No, it's blacklist. Oh, that's insert. I wanted that here. Come out. Go back in. Keeps the setting. No problem. And you see they aren't doing anything. There's lava in here, but this is not smelting. Uh, there you go. Uh, we did take down the old spawning platform over there and built another one that looks a little bit nicer. Sorry. Uh, oh, sure. <laughs> I wanted to build some stuff too. Um, so this is just grass and we are gonna try something out here. I put a roof on top and well initially I started with just putting the fences because I do want to put a 3x3x3 block in this corner and I didn't want anybody uh, to hop onto that block and out of the platform. So you know I put a ceiling on top. Um, that might actually be quite a good idea because we are going to put down some nature cores here. Now with these you need to be very careful once you place them, you cannot pick them back up. They are like bedrock, you can't, you know, you can't, just you can't. Um, you put them like this, and they will slowly start to create uh, a multi-block around them. So there will be a mixture of, I think it's jungle leaves and jungle wood, one on each side, so you have a total of 3x3x3, three by three by three. that's why I put that right there. I'm gonna do that all the way around now. And what these do is they start um, basically bone mealing the area around them. And if I just put one here in the middle, that would probably work. But, you know, if we go and kill things, we, we overkill things. So, that should work. I don't know if they would erase these fence posts, so I'd just do that manually. And then we wait for them, them to do things. They did. One did. Oh, wow. Yeah, and th this one already built some, some jungle wood. This one builds some leaves, and yep, as you can see, stuff is happening. Now what I would be interested in in the next step is if we could put a, a sort of farming station here and harvest all the flowers to get the dyes. Oh yeah, they are going. Oh wow. What we want to do now is something we should have done a long, long time ago. We're actually going to have a look at our quest book. Oh, yeah. before you do that, yeah. I got a present. For I got, I got a couple presents for you. A couple? Yes. All right. Get going. Ready? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. 64? Yes, 64K. Yep. Mm. 
Hmm. These will come in handy later when we do uh, applied energistics and get a real storage crafting auto crafting system going. And the cryo stabilized yep. flux duct we will need at some stage. Probably when we get into the whole draconic evolution stuff, which needs vast amounts of power, and these can transfer infinite amount of power. So we just slap that onto the reactor on like six different outputs, which all have a limit to them, and then everything just goes. That is good. We do have storage for that somewhere. I know we have some more right over here. So we now have 48. Nice. Okay, quest book. Here we go. All the things. Let's see what we can get. So, first uh, quest a chapter. Welcome to light. We have a little tinkerer. Yeah, we have to have that for a long time. All the crafting stations for tinker's tools. Today we're going to go with bottom chests. Claim done. Uh, the smelteries. I'm pretty sure we did enough crafting for the smeltery stuff. <laughs> and we also gain a quarter heart, which we don't need because we're not in hardcore mode. Done. Next. Compacting drawers. Yup. Sure. Done. What else? All the cobblestone generation. Claim. More. Claim. More. <laughs> All the upgrades. Uh, that was diamond here. Then this one is gold, I believe. Uh, is it gold? Or is it... Uh, blaze. I think it's blaze. Yeah, that's blaze rods. And this one is emeralds, of which we have a number now. Then we did go to the nether. And we did get cobalt and ardite ore. We actually have quite some cobalt blocks and ardite blocks now, because we have cows. So next thing here is the deep storage tank, which we need to get into. Those are pretty good if you want to store a single item. They just hold vast amounts of it. You know, that's why vast storage. Cool. Uh, let's get back in here. Done. Uh, that's it on this page. Nice. Then you did the first watering can, I heard. Yep. And we did get prosperity shards from uh, the nether. No problem there. We did get some inferium from the mob farm. 64? Yeah, that was easy. <laughs> you teleport down there, or you, you use the elevator to go down there, and you have 64 in your hands. Um, okay, that's good. Endest Revolution. This should have been unlocked a long time ago. It isn't yet. I don't know what we need to do to get that unlocked. I honestly don't know. We will have to figure that out. Probably need to make a diamond mesh or something stupid. Uh, what's next here? Under Dark. Deep Dark Portal. Ooh. Ooh, that might be something we could actually do already. Let's see. Deep Dark Portal. Let's have a quick look what we need for that. The Sextuple Compressed? No, it's Quintuple Compressed and Quadruple Compressed and some Demon Ingots. That is easy to do. How many... Yeah, we have three... Let's get that out of my hand. We have... I need an empty hand. Look away. Ah, we have three Sextuple Compressed, so we can uncompress them, and then we could make the Deep Dark Portal pretty much now, if we wanted. That's cool. I like that. Uh, let's put the storage things away, though. Yeah, there. Why not? And we, we never, ever need those hearts for anything, so we're just gonna trash them. It's just no use having them. And now, let's have a look at the chest. Number one. Creeper Charm. Are you amazed? Totally. Good. Absolutely. Number two. Growth Crystal Tier 3. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually really good. That's the highest tier growth crystal, if I'm not mistaken. Then some Fluix Block and Certus Quartz Block. That's good. Uh, viaducts. Long range viaducts. And long range linking viaducts. Um, that might come in handy if we extend this even further. We can run this parallel, or probably one block underneath here, and then you, you have, like, a subway. You have an entrance shaft somewhere. You hop in there, and that brings you to the end of the viaduct. It's quite cool. So you might do that. Cryostabilized flux duct, another 16. Diamond shield. Gives you six diamonds if you shred that. So that might be something. More cryostabilized flux duct. 
Flask of Magma Skin. Zombie Charm. Flask of Magma Skin. Glowstone Ingots. 16 Enhanced Energy Conduits. That's nice. That's the next tier. 51,000 RF. And a Super Heating Element. Nice. All in all, that's actually not a bad haul. Nope. See worse. And back here in our crafting area. So let's have a quick look. Um, obviously, we want to get resources all the time. So the easiest way to get all those resources is use a cobblestone generator, right? Usually, we would then hammer that into oblivion until we get gravel, sand, and dust. Now, we want to automate that. So what can we do to get gravel? Let's have a quick look here. Mm, yes, the pulverizer, which can pulverize cobblestone into sand and gravel. Or stone into gravel, which would mean we need uh, to attach the cobblestone generator to a furnace to get that stone and then get the gravel out of it and a little bit of sand. That, Yeah, okay. Uh, Sagmo, we can just put cobblestone in there and we do get gravel with a weird chance of 70 and 30% and a little sand and a little flint, which we can put back in here to speed up the process. Uh, there you go. Uh, sack mill. Grinding ball. Why is that both grinding ball? Item flint. There you go. Main output 120%, bonus output 125%, and power reduction 15%. Not too bad. 2400 IF. It goes fairly slow, as you can see. That's for one piece. Yeah, not gonna be a thing. Enrichment chamber. Freaking fast, but the other way around. We need sand for that. I'm not gonna do that. But the crusher goes as fast as you can see. It doesn't tell me how much RF it needs and if that is even RF. I will sure hope so. And I hope you can upgrade this. Uh, that is from Mechanism, right. Let's have a look at that mod. Mechanism. Yeah, it has all these weird um, modular things that you need to build stuff. There are speed upgrades. Yup. Energy upgrade. Filter upgrade, whatever. Muffling upgrade, that's not bad. Gas upgrade. I would know some people who would need that. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So, how do you make a, a crusher? Lava buckets, no issue. Redstone, no issue. Steel casing is osmium. Some sort of glass. And steel ingots. Uh, we do have a steel cow, no problem. Osmium cow, no problem. We do still have some glass over here, which is clear glass and quite clear glass. Let's see if that works. And then, where did the crusher go? Crusher. Dr. Beverly. <laughs> I did a Star Trek. And then we need a basic control circuit, which we get by putting redstone into metallurg metallurgic infuser and adding osmium ingots to that. Also good, goes quite fast. Okay, so what do we need to make that? Osmium, conductive iron, iron furnace, and steel casing. Iron furnace is just a furnace surrounded with eight iron, so that's easy. Steel casing, we just had a look at that, that's easy. And conductive iron, uh, alloy smelter, redstone, and iron ingot. Okay, let's get that going. Do I still have conductive iron just somewhere? I don't think so. Uh, that. And uh, that. Ooh. Prime ingredient for Ender IO as well, so. Not a big deal. Oh, I think we just got a conductive iron cow. Are you doing things? Yes, you're doing things. Perfect. I need a couple of these, so let's make. Let's make 12. And that means we should be able to... What am I doing? There. That one. Yes. One of you, please. Thank you very much. So, I think for now we're just going to plunk that down over there. Let's see what it does. There you go. 16k RF, that's not bad. 
Now we need osmium, right? And a redstone, I think it was. So good when you have all the cows and you just don't need to worry about it. Fly! Also upgraded the conduits here and extended them all the way over to the to the platform so we have electricity. That doesn't look that fast. Oh wow, that filled up a tank. Okay, 640 redstone. 10 per piece. It's good. We lost one per ingot. Okay. For the stack. Should do. Two is what we need right now. We leave that running. Look at all the quests we're doing today. It's marvelous. And uh, now we just need the lava buckets. Do we still have buckets? What are you standing in that corner over there? Uh, trying to figure out one of the things. <laughs> okay. You do that. I will. Pedal. There's two okay. lava buckets. That's what I was looking for. Come in here. And what are we missing? Oh, more redstone. Yeah, we dumped all of that. That should be enough. <laughs> I'm full. And one. Uh, put away the rest. Woo. That looks better than before. Cool. Now let's see what you can do. Okay, so I have no idea what you just did. <laughs> <laughs> what did you craft? Was that the basic capacitor? That was the basic capacitor. And that That's... opened up all the rest that I already made. That's perfect. Yep. <laughs> so, Mana Evolution, we had that. Energistics Revolution is now a thing. Generation Revolution, we had that before, but we can finally claim the Yellorium Steel stuff. Uh, let's claim that. Uh, we didn't make reactor glass, so yeah, that's probably a thing we can do easily. And mechanism, there's the stuff I just came up with. <laughs> Gorgeous. So, the reason we're back here is to have a look at this crusher. I put a stack of cobblestone in here, and I have maximum upgrades, 8 out of 8 energy upgrades, and 8 out of 8 speed upgrades. Now... <sighs> Fast is different. I don't know, can you do this? Yeah. See, that's the speed. It's one, two, three, four. Okay. And that's the stack we got out of that cobblestone. Now, here's our sagmo with this weird capacitor upgrade. It's one stack of cobblestone. It gave us one and a half stacks of gravel, some overflow sand, uh, five flint, which we can put right back in here. And the speed of this thing is that. I can do three stacks of cobble in this before this finishes. Look, it just got half a stack done. This thing is finished. And we started way later in that thing. So I guess we're gonna go with the sag mill. Even though we need the flint, but it keeps up with the flint. I mean, look at that. Full. And we have 21 overflow. Yup. We're gonna do this. We're gonna go with the sagmo. Bit of a pity, but I'm not gonna use these. Not just now. We might need them later for something. Pretty sure we need them for something, but this is still going. Wow. <laughs> so that's how we're gonna do it. Right. If you would come over here to me. Over here. Yes. You can see the things I've been doing. Yes. Wow. You see, stuff is running. Yep. So. Let's start over here. First thing I did is plunk down the cobblestone generator tier 5. Because why go small when you go big, right? I mean, we go big. Yep. Um, snapped some conduits to it. Nothing much to it. I mean, this just extract on blue, and this inputs on blue, and outputs on blue over here in the 2x2. Two two. Uh, I took the void upgrades back out because uh, I had a better idea. And then over here for the sag mill, it inserts on blue with a priority of 5, so this thing should get whatever uh, gets taken out of this drawer first. And it's working. We have pretty much unlimited flint. Uh, cobblestone is never going below 63. 
I put an octatic capacitor in here, so we've unlocked two more quests there. Uh, the double layer and the octatic. And it's generating stuff. Uh, stuff is moved right out of the drawer uh, into this thing, the, the mechanical user. And now yes. I pick up all the stuff. And that starts sifting. Uh, over here pretty much the same. Why do you not show that you're actually running? That's weird, but it's running. Anyway, um, same there. Same setup as over there with one more machine, this one here, which takes the gravel and transforms it into sand. And the rest of the setup is the same, uh, except that obviously we're sifting sand over here. Then I stuck a chest over here, an ender chest, which is uh, black, white, white. So that's the one that goes into all the smelteries with an item collector that is set to a maximum range, 10 by 10, uh, which is exactly over there in that corner. So that is working. It's picking everything up, unless I'm standing too close or have my magnet on. So let's just drop that in there. And it gets emptied. Also on blue, because there is a conduit here. A wonder. <laughs> And uh, has an advanced item filter, so all the stuff that can't be put uh, into the smelteries gets taken out on blue. And I have added one more. Uh, uh, come on, fly! I have added one more conduit over here where we already have our white, white, white chest, which is the one that goes over into storage. On the side, I have a conduit here which is on minus 10 priority, so this is the last one to get it, which means. If we sift sand or gravel and get flint, it gets put into the drawers and the machines over there first, and as a last resort, whenever nothing can be put away anymore, it gets put into this ender chest. So we can see there's gravel, there's cobblestone, there's flint, uh, all the stuff going into this chest. So that will fill up our main storage over there, and that has void upgrades, so this chest should never have an issue of running full. And stuff gets taken out with 16 speed upgrades over there. So... That's working. We should now have quite a lot of the smelteries running. We have like 12 FPS down here. Uh, should be even worth upstairs. So what else do we need down here? We have gravel, we have sand. We obviously need dust. And when we look at the sieve... Let's look at mesh. I think that's what shows it. There you go. Uh, sand. Crushed endstone is a thing. Gives us Traconium Ore and Prosperity Shards. Gravel, obviously. Dust. Gives us Redstone and Bone Meal and Blaze Powder. Sky Dust? Yeah, Sky Stone Dust. All the stuff we don't have yet. Crushed Netherrack is also something where you need to put a hammer uh, to some Netherrack. I think here you can actually use the Crusher. That's the last piece anyway, so let's have a look. What do we get here? Nothing out of the ordinary. Mithril. An iron stiffened mesh. Okay, sure. Uh, yeah, netherrack. No, it needs to be hammered, it seems. Is there no way to get this? Nope, just with a hammer. So we need two setups one for hammering sand into dust, and one for hammering netherrack into crushed netherrack. And then, if we really wanted, we could still set up a system that generates. Uh, dirt and put that through a string mesh so we get all the seeds, but I think we're good on seeds. Don't think we have an issue with that. <laughs> Could we run the nether rack and stuff through the crusher, then have it pulled out and sent over the sieve? Nope. You need to hammer it. Ugh. Yeah, just look that up. You actually do need to hammer it. Uh, sand needs to be hammered and netherrack needs to be hammered. So once I have one of those setups done, or we, <laughs> uh, it shouldn't be a big deal to get one more. So the only question now is, do we keep it as it is? Do we have to extend? I think for now it looks good. The, the bottleneck right now is the actual furnace system, the actual smelteries. I mean, iron is definitely full. Uh, Yellorium doesn't seem to be filling up quite as much, but then again, iron is the, the thing you get the most and pretty much out of whatever you sift. So we might just add a void upgrade to that one and be done with it. If anything else fills up, we definitely need to extend here. 
and uh, adjust the speed of those things. It's still the best system to double your ores. We could go with the redstone furnace or something like that. We'll see. So that's the next two we have to put down here. Um, the, the sifting system for crushed netherrack and for dust, including the making of sad things. And then we have lots of room still remaining and we need that for the other resources to transform nether lapis into regular lapis so we can smell that. Yup. Yup. Mm -hmm. But for now, I think we're good. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. Alright. That's it for today, folks. If you liked the video, like the video. Subscribe for more. Leave a comment if you feel like it. Don't forget to enjoy yourselves. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.